Saturday afternoon, 21-year-old Lincer Lopez was baptized in Lake Waxahachie. An hour later, he drowned to death. He was a hero, Lincer's uncle Jacobo told me in Spanish. Lincer died, Waxahachie police say, saving a teenage girl also from his church group. They were enjoying the water after several baptisms. She was drowning. He sprung into action. He didn't think twice about rescuing someone else, his uncle said. He didn't think about the risk that he could die, and he did risk his life to save somebody else's. That teenage girl lived, was eventually pulled out of the water by a nearby boater. I haven't even really begun. To, it hadn't sank in yet, you know, like it's hard. His name is Jacob Bell. He gave her CPR, then helped recover Lincer's body, a deeply personal mission. I lost my brother that way. Jacob's brother drowned to death when he was only three. So his heart hurts for Lincer's family in more ways than one. He was a hero. He had just been baptized and, you know, gave his life to the Lord. And we, our family, and I, we pray for his family, you know, and we pray for the little girl's family. And he was a, a strong boy, and they should be very proud of him. There's no doubt they are. Lincer's uncle told me he worked hard in construction to send money to his siblings in Mexico. Lincer was so young, but his legacy will last. His uncle believes his story can inspire others to serve God and help people. If they can help, like my nephew did. And Lincer's church is now fundraising to help send back his body to his parents in Mexico. We put a link to that GoFundMe on our story about this heartbreaking incident on WFA.com. Yeah, help out if you can. And Sydney, tell us just a little bit about uh, this day. I think they were looking forward to this baptism so much. His family said that he looked forward to this so much, Matt, that he could not sleep the night before. That is how important this was to him. He was a man of faith. That is how his family wants him remembered tonight. And certainly he will be in the hearts and prayers of so many North Texans.